Hello, my name is Otto Viemenu, and today we're going to talk about insulin, insulin delivery methods. Um, this is going to be a, a short video because in the next videos we're going to discuss a little more in depth. This one we're just going to talk about the different delivery methods they are. Um, so we can do a, the most common would be the subcutaneous route, or the next one is transdermal, there is a nasal route, and oral and buccal insulin. Um, there's also an inhaled insulin or intraperitoneal or intraportal insulin. Um, that is all the different routes you're able to administer insulin through. Um, as well, we will talk about this really brief. Um, the different types of insulin, you have a rapid acting insulin, uh, short acting insulin, uh, immediate acting, uh, long acting and depending on what your patient's blood sugar is and the physician's orders, always compare that to, always refer to the physician's orders, whether it be the MAR um, or the paper chart, wherever, the, wherever your MAR is, uh, whether they have electronic or paper, make sure that you are looking at the correct um, route and make sure that it is current, is not discontinued. Um, the rapid uh, is gonna be a Humalog or Novalog um, the onset is 10 to 30 minutes. The peak is 30 minutes to 3 hours. The duration is 3 to 5 hours. Um, Short-acting insulin uh, is regular. Uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour is the onset. Uh, the peak is 2 to 5 hours. And the duration is up to 12 hours. Uh, immediate acting is NPH or N. Uh, the onset is 1.5 hours uh, to 4 hours. Uh, the peak is 4 to 12 hours and the duration is uh, up to 24 hours. Um, and the last one is long-acting insulin, usually Lantus or Levomir. Uh, that's going to go, the onset is roughly uh, about a 0.8 to 4 hours for the uh, initial onset to come on. But the peak, there's never a peak with this one here. This one is going to maintain the blood glucose periodically throughout the uh, duration of the insulin and the duration is up to 24 hours as well. Um, I know I jumped straight into uh, 30 minutes and all that in the onset beat, but let's just cover that. The onset is obviously the length of time before the insulin reaches the bloodstream. Before you see the initial change or in increase, decrease, that's the onset. The peak is the time when the insulin is most effective. If the peak is going to be like this, so you, your blood sugar is here and you give the insulin and at that point there, it's going to start highest and then now this is going to decline coming down. Um, the duration is how long is this medication going to be stretched out, whether it's, it's going to be, like I said, the long acting is 24 hours or up to 24 hours. Um, the intermediate acting, again, up to 24 hours. The short acting is 12 hours, and the rapid acting, 3 to 5 hours, and the short acting, uh, 12 hours again. Um, that is all for insulin um, deliveries, and I will further discuss uh, insulin administration in the next video. Thank you so much.